and welcome to our lesson on solving equations graphically. So we have the graph y is equal to x cubed minus 2x and we're going to use this graph to solve this equation. So we're going to solve 0 equal to x cubed minus 3x minus 1 using y is equal to x cubed minus 2x which means we need the right hand side of the equation we're going to solve equal to the right hand side of the equation whose graph we have. So to begin with, you can see we have negative 3x here, but negative 2x here. So we're going to add x to both sides on this equation. So now we have x is equal to x cubed minus the 2x minus 1. And on the graph of the equation, we have a zero constant term. So we need to add one on both sides of this equation. So these will cancel to make zero. So we have x plus one is equal to x cubed minus two x. So now the right hand side of both equations are the same. You can see that y has to equal x plus one. So we're going to draw the graph of the equation y is equal to x plus 1 and where the two graphs intersect that will be your solution. So now we have drawn y is equal to x plus 1. Where the two graphs intersect at the three points we can find the value of x by drawing a vertical line to the x-axis and you can see that one of the solutions is that when x is approximately equal to negative 1.5 5, 5. Also, another solution here, when x is approximately equal to negative 0 0.35. And the final solution is when x is approximately equal to 1.9. Like I said, these solutions are approximations. The actual answer is likely to be slightly different. Okay, let's try question B. Okay, for question B, we have 0 is equal to x cubed minus x squared minus 3x. And we're going to solve this equation using the equation of a graph, which is y is equal to x cubed minus 2x. So you can see on this side, there is a negative x squared, which is missing on the equation of a graph. So we're going to make this term equal 0 by adding x squared to both sides. So we have x squared is equal to x cubed minus 3x. And we need to make this term equal the negative 2x by adding x to both sides. So we have x squared plus x is equal to x cubed minus 2x. So by drawing the curve y is equal to x squared plus x, we will find where the two equations intersect and there will be our solutions. So you can see there are three solutions to this equation, one here, one here, and one here. So x is approximately equal to negative one point three at this point x is equal to zero and by drawing a vertical line down to the x axis you can see the third solution is when x is approximately equal to 2.3 okay let's move on to question c okay for question c we have 5x minus 2x squared is equal to x cubed minus 1 do you want to try and solve this equation yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So again we have the equation 5x minus 2x squared is equal to x cubed minus 1 and we're going to solve that equation using the graph of y is equal to x cubed minus 2x. So we need to make the right hand side of both equations equal. We already have an x cubed term but we need a negative 2x term on this side. So we're going to take 2x's from both. 
So 5x take away with 2x will make 3x minus the 2x squared will equal x cubed minus 2x minus the 1. But you can see in our graph we have no negative 1 term. So we'll make this equal 0 by adding 1 to both sides. And these will cancel. So we have 1 plus 3x minus 2x squared is equal to x cubed minus 2x. So you can see that y will equal 1 plus 3x minus 2x squared. When we draw this graph and we find the intersecting x values with the blue graph, we will have our solutions. Okay, so you can see there are two solutions when x is approximately negative 0.2 and when x is approximately 0.6. Okay, do you want to try question D by pausing the video and you can resume that when you're ready. Okay, for question D, we have 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 2x minus 1. And we're going to solve this using y is equal to x cubed minus 2x. So you can see the equation of a graph has an x cubed term, whereas the equation we're trying to solve doesn't. So I'm going to add x cubed term to both sides. which means I've now got x cubed will equal x cubed plus 2x squared minus 2x minus 1. And the equation of a graph has no x squared term, so I need to take away 2x squared from both. And this will cancel. So I've got x cubed, take away 2x squared will equal x cubed neither cancelled, minus 2x, minus 1. The negative 2x I want, but I need to move the negative 1 to the other side by adding 1 to both sides. So I've got x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1 will equal x cubed minus 2x. So you can see the equation that I need to draw is y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. So the two solutions are when x is approximately negative 0.4 and when x is approximately 1.4. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.